from the properties of Laplace transform, another important property is scaling property, time scaling property. Now in this video, I will explain time scaling property and statement of the time scaling property and derivation, derivation of time scaling property and using the time scaling property some examples. So how to solve the problems using time scaling property, right? So the property name is here time scaling property. So scaling operation that name explains a constant constant multiplies with time now right so up to now we have discussed some algebraic summation of algebraic summation of some constant to the time is called shifting operation so time shifting operation right some constant is adds with the time or subtracts with the time that operation is called shifting operation now the some constant multiplies with time now some constant multiplies with time then it is called a time scaling operation the main application of the time scaling is compression and expansion so to compress any one signal or to expand the signal scaling operation is used this scaling is called here time scaling operation right so first of all i will write the statement here laplace transform of f of t laplace transform of f of t is f of s so laplace transform converts the time domain into frequency domain if any constant multiplies in time domain that means f of a into t see here the given function is f of t function is there but here this t multiplies with a a is some constant right some constant multiplies with time this operation is called time scaling operation so whenever some constant multiplies in time uh, the same constant divides with frequency so s by a so whatever the constant multiplies here that constant divides because time and frequency these two are inversely proportional right and again this complete term uh, multiplies with a constant that constant is 1 by a so 1 by a f of s by a this is the statement of time scaling property so if the constant multiplies in time domain the same constant uh, divides in frequency domain and that 1 by a so this is coefficient multiplication factor 1 by a into f of s by a now we have to prove this so to prove this purpose again i'm taking the standard laplace transform equation laplace transform of f of t is integration from 0 to infinity directly i'm taking unilateral laplace transform right integration from 0 to infinity the given function is here f of t into e to the power of minus st dt this becomes now f of s this becomes now f of s that means this complete integration with respect to t is there and the function is in terms of t f of t this is with respect to t and this exponential signal e to the power of minus st is there that means your minus t minus t multiplies with your s term then I have wrote the complete term in terms of s representation right similarly now we have to find uh, the Laplace and sum of this function so this equation I'm taking now LHS left hand side equation that is Laplace transform of f of a t now now I want to find Laplace transform of f of a t the given function is here f of a t so apply the Laplace transform formula integration from 0 to infinity the given function is f of a t into e to the power of minus st dt so your integration with respect to t is there but the given function is defined in terms of a into t some constant is there now we have we have to equate these variables to equate the variables here i'm assuming let us assume right so a t is equal to some variable u variable a t is equal to u then t becomes u by a here a is constant then we have to replace dt also apply both side differentiation then it becomes dt is equal to du by a what are the limits now time limits are same zero infinity because t is zero u is also zero t is infinity u is also infinity now replace all these terms in this equation then the equation becomes like this laplace transform of f of a t is integration from zero to infinity 
integration from 0 to infinity f of a t a t is u so f of u into e to the power of minus s t is there so t is also replaces with u by a and dt replaces with du by a so replace all this term now u by a and here this is du by a so a is constant so take it outside right a is outside so i'm writing outside now integration from 0 to infinity f of u e to the power of minus this a constant value uh, now i want to divide that a value with uh, s so s by a into u into du now compare this expression with our basic laplace transform equation so the basic laplace transform equation is here f of t e to the power of minus st dt with respect to t is defined and this uh, exponential function power minus t multiplies with s uh, that's why here i have wrote f of s now in this equation here this complete function defined with respect to u with respect to u f of u e to the power of minus some factor into u here what is this factor here s by a so from this now i am writing this part with a f of s by a then the constant part is as it is so this is equal to rhs now left hand side equation equal to right hand side equation then finally we can write the statement laplace transform of f of a t is 1 by a into f of s by a 1 by a into f of s by a so this property is also called as time scaling property whenever some constant multiplies in time domain immediately we have to uh, divide the same constant in frequency domain so now I am taking one example, one function is defined like this, f of t is e to the power of minus 2t into u of t, f of t is e to the power of minus 2t into u of t, then find, find Laplace transform of e f of 4t, now we have to find out the Laplace transform of f of 4t now, see f of t function is there. But here the time domain function multiplies with here 4. Now I want to apply time scaling property. From the time scaling property, the statement explains here Laplace transform of f of 40 is Laplace transform of f of 40 is from the statement 1 by 4 into f of s by 4. It becomes like this 1 by 4 into f of s by 4. Now we have to find out what is f of s here. What is f of s here? To find f of s purpose, take this part here. Laplace transform of f of t is f of s. So this f of s from the standard equation, this becomes now 1 by s plus 2. Because it is, this is similar to e to the power of minus a t into u of t function. So e to the power of minus a t into u of t. Laplace sum of e to the power of minus a t into u of t is 1 by s plus a so 1 by s plus a a value is here 2 so 1 by s plus 2 now f of s is 1 by s plus 2 is defined here now in this we want f of s by 4 that means in this complete equation replace s yes with the s by 4 then it gives the final answer then right here 1 by 4 into f of s is here 1 by s plus 2 here s is defined this s is replaces with s by 4 so 1 by s by 4 plus 2 1 by s by 4 plus 2 then take lcm here 4 4 get cancels right and here it becomes a 1 by s plus 8 so this is the final answer so to find to find laplace transform of these type of signals purpose time scaling property is used right and similarly, we have to discuss some other properties like a differentiation property, integration property, convolution property, convolution theorem, and initial value theorem, Laplace uh, uh, final value theorem. All these are comes under properties of Laplace transform. Up to now, I have explained few properties. One property is linearity property and uh, time scaling property. This one, time shifting and frequency shifting property, right? So, up to now I have explained only 4 properties and remaining also we have to discuss. So, 
please take this now.